welcome to episode five of Mississippi with Love. So much has been happening since this project started and I think already what you can see around me shows that the electrics have gone through. But what about if we start going around and see exactly how this place that was probably built more than 300 years ago is now coming back alive. Let's go. The stairs or the steps taking you upstairs was, like I've said, probably one of the most challenging things in this project. Now, the, uh, the still now supporting it, which has been painted black, and then also when this gets stripped and sunblasted and painted black, everything is going to match. But also rebuilding on top what was probably rebuilt in the 30s or 40s just to bring the same height of every step what a job, you know, you've got to calculate everything, get every step exactly the same size, and then whatever material you decide to put on top. So I can officially say that the stairs have been saved and they're going to be one of the main features as you walk in through the door. And also nice to see all these little lines going all over the place. So when you're also refurbishing, you really need to almost try to live your environment. So when you come through the door, is it gonna to open to the right? Is it gonna to open to the left? Where do I want my switch? Where do I want my lights? Do I want LED lights? Because also if you have LED lights, then also things do change in terms of cables that go through, in terms of, in terms of switches, in terms of other elements that are needed. Do I want a dimmer? So all of those things need to be decided and then the electricians can run through. And this is amazing because when you think about a new construction, you, you already have the walls and maybe the cavity has been left for a pipe to go through, for a cable conduit to go through. But when you are actually refurbishing or restoring, it's very much cutting through the walls. And then so you produce rubble, but then, then you have to close it. And then you need to plaster to make everything smooth. So even this process of doing the electrics or the plumbing, it's very complex. And also when you do do it, you also need to make sure that you do as little damage as possible. When I say about damage, it's the less you cut, the less you need to fill, and the less you cut, the less rubble you produce. So it's very important to remember these elements, then that will save you time and money later when it comes to put everything back together. And really here, an excellent job has been done.
Mississippi with Love episode five is coming to an end and what's been happening over these last few weeks is absolutely amazing. Plumbing has been finished, the electrical, all the installation has been completed, the plastering is started, a lot of the painting has been done in this particular part of the unit, ready to get onto the next one. The stairs have been saved, which was one of those things that was so difficult for me. I was waking up sometimes in the middle of the night thinking, are we gonna lose them? Are we gonna lose them? No, they have been saved. All together, this is coming out to be an absolutely amazing project. And it's fantastic to think that there is two units totally independent, offering fantastic comfort, but also the opportunity to go back in time because of the many historical elements and features and also the location. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'm gonna tell you now, make sure you do that. Don't be a watcher, subscribe to the channel, support the channel. Thank you very much for supporting as well what we do here in Salento. And we'll see you on episode six of Mississippi We Love. And in the meantime, the most important thing that you gotta do is to stay safe wherever you are. Bye.